And finally tonight, Activision Blizzard created an online gaming community that used to boast over 12 million people. Folks, that's roughly the population of Los Angeles. And gamers also happily paid a monthly subscription fee. So with that, you think that the company would be immune to ups and downs in the video game industry. But after nine years at the top, the creator of the famous World of Warcraft is starting to lose some ground. CCTV's Tracy Tandon explains why. World of Warcraft is by far the most popular video game ever released. It's a Dungeon and Dragon style video game that's captured the attention of millions of players worldwide. Subscribers pay a fee or buy a prepaid card to its virtual world to battle against other players online. But the popular video game has been steadily losing subscribers. While some MMOGs, which stands for Massively Multiplayer Online Games, would be delighted to have 600,000 players, that's the number of players World of Warcraft lost over the last three months. That means a total of nearly two million players have left this fantasy world since the start of the year. For most players right now, there's so many uh, choices out there, um, and, and a lot of them are trying to so-called free-to-play. Uh, there's a couple of them. Uh, one of them is Guild Wars, that's quite popular, has about a you know, subscriber, about a couple million. And more recently, uh, Star Wars, the Old Republic, uh, has gone from a subscriber base to a free, you know, you know, free to pay. Activision Blizzard, the company that makes World of Warcraft, says the game currently has 7.7 .7 million subscribers. At its peak three years ago, 12 million people were hooked on playing the game. The biggest declines are in countries like China, where Tencent, China's largest publicly listed internet company, has grabbed a much bigger share of the Asian market. Until recently, it was mostly predominantly coming from Asia, which we believe is China. And uh, I think because China right now has a lot of free-to-play, uh, I know that one of the big companies that's on the online play is Tencent, and that's been very successful. The landscape of video games has changed in recent years with many gamers switching to a free-to-play model. It's not the end of the world for World of Warcraft, but experts say the game will have to embrace some form of free-to-play so it can continue to fight off the competition. Tracy Tandon, CCTV, New York.